Hey guys, welcome back to the Hearts and Cake 90. It is Brittany. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this knotless braided wig from City Beauty World. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. Okay, so the braided wig was shipped via DHL and this is in the style Oka. So the braided wig was put in a garment bag, which is super nice, packaged very well. And it comes on a hanger just to, you know, keep your wig in place. Um, and I think this is really nice because they used to just kind of put your wig in a bag, but they've um, upgraded since then. And this is a knotless braided wig like I showed you guys. I haven't tried a knotless braided wig before. Um, I think the lace is light brown. And usually with braided wigs, full lace braided wigs, they're two different colors, like a darker color in the back. But with this one, it was consistent all over. Um, they do have that division in the middle, but for the most part, the lace was the same color. Um, this does have a comb in the back, but it did have this adjustable, well, not adjustable, actually. It was the traditional elastic band um, in it. And I think they sent me a medium cap, and the medium cap was too small, and it was pretty frustrating trying to get that on my head. So I did cut the lace off on the back, and it was still too tight after I did that. And you guys know, look at my face, like I was getting frustrated. Um, so yeah, the medium cap was too small. I have a 23 inch circumference head and usually average caps are 22.5 um, and that was just too small. So, so I did cut the elastic band out of the cap so it would fit my head better. It still wasn't a perfect fit. I definitely needed a large cap, but um, I did make it work. So I did use the Got To Be Glued Free Spray and the gel. Um, I went ahead and started to put that on my hairline and I used my blow dryer um, to adhere it down. And that's all I'm gonna be really doing with this process. Like I show you guys in a lot of my videos, I used my Got To Be Glued in the black bottle first and then I put the free spray on top, blow dry it. And then I used my cuticle stick that I got from my press on kits and stuff. And I used that to press my lace in. Now, after I filmed this video and I was like looking at my lace and stuff, I highly recommend going with a lighter cap. I went with a black cap just because if you don't do the ball cap method and you just, you know, wear your wig cap as usual with the lighter cap, it's gonna show through too much and you'll see the division with your cap. But if you use a black cap, it's just gonna make your lace look a, a little bit darker, especially in the parting spaces. Um, and I'm gonna use powder and stuff later in the video, but I would say take the time to do the ball cap method and use a cap that's like probably a little bit lighter than your skin tone, not drastically lighter, but just like the color of your scalp. And it's gonna look a lot better because with the black wig cap that I use, it looks more brown and it just looks, you know, darker than my scalp would look. Okay, so then I start to work with the baby hairs, y'all. I have a love-hate relationship with baby hairs because I do think that braided wigs do need them because it does add a little bit of something to it, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't like OD on the baby hairs with braided wigs because sometimes it can be a dead giveaway. So, but again, that's a preference thing. And I just, you know, took my razor and kind of thinned them out a little bit. And then I did tweeze the hairline, you know, to get my, get the baby hairs a little bit more, um, less dense. All right, y'all. So I'm going to take my face powder. Um, I use this for my face. Um, if you don't wear makeup, just go with something that's a little bit lighter than your complexion if you're trying to make your part in space stand out again if i would have done the ball cap method with a with a wig cap that was a little bit lighter than my complexion i wouldn't have had to rely so heavily on the face powder but you know i already did it so definitely recommend doing that instead but it's still going to work out um and i'm going to show you guys the length of it i do believe this is waist length and you're also going to see what it looks like from the back like the you know scalp of it you know air quotes um, yeah you're gonna see what it looks like in the back how the lace looks in the back um i do feel like this they actually have the full lace the same color throughout instead of like gray in the back 
So I have to, you know, commend them for that. So I have finished applying this wig and you guys saw me do that. So I'm going to get into, you know, how I feel about the wig. So I'm pretty sure they sent me a medium sized cap and you guys saw me struggling with putting it on my head. Like, of course I'm editing around it, but it took me a long time to figure out how to get this on my head. The medium cap was too small. I have a 23 inch circumference head and usually companies send well, I'm, I don't know about other influencers, but for the most part, I know they tend to send out medium caps for people because it's like the most general cap and usually like smalls and larges take a little bit longer. But so in this case, I wish I would have gotten the 23 inch or the large size because it just was really hard to get on my head. And my hair is pretty flat underneath this. Um, I have my hair in some old cornrows part it down the middle and just going down so that was frustrating but I did get it to work I switched to a black wig cap just because um the light wig cap was showing too much through the cap that would be fixed if I did the um ball cap method but that method takes so long to do and I didn't want to do it so um I just put on a black wig cap it's not like giving me what lace vibes like I can still see it in um, certain lighting the ends are tapered and they are twisted towards the end if you are interested in this wig I'll list I'll put um, all the information about it and a link to where you can purchase it in the description box I want to thank City Beauty World for sending me this wig to review um, and shout out to them for having patience with me they sent me this wig you know a while ago but I moved and it got a little bit crazy so shout out to them for having patience with me and shout out to my premiere squad for watching this with me I really appreciate you guys um leave me a comment down below just say hey or just tell me what you think about this wig thank you guys so much for rocking with me if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and make sure your notifications are on and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys